Come to be united is the first and oldest ceremony in all the world, celebrated in the beginning in the presence of God himself. Marriage is a gift of God, given to comfort the sorrows of life and magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand not by the authority of the state, nor by the seal on your wedding certificate, but by your, the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in each other and in God. You can have this kind of home if you continue to recognize God as the source of romance and love and affection, for these are his gifts. We must build our house on a spiritual foundation. As you know, with God, you will have everything. Without him, you will have nothing. Amen. Now, uh, since you've joined hands, I want you to express your vows of love and devotion to each other. <laughs> My dearest Daryl, when I think back to our childhood, I can't believe we would end up here together at this stage of our lives. Sometimes it seems so very surreal. It's hard to believe we have been together now for almost four years. It truly seems only half that amount of time. As the saying goes, time flies when you're having fun. You are the love of my life. You have taught me how to love. There is no greater gift than that. Your dedication to me and to our relationship still amazes me. You brought peace back into my life. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Now, as we take this ultimate commitment before God, friends, and family, I'm looking forward to the rest of our lives together and all the adventures that it brings. I love you. I do. Party <laughs> now. <laughs> 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 the day you walk back into my life that felt like a missing part of my heart came home because you captured my heart when we were 10 and I loved you then but I'm in love with you now I adore you your smile but your laugh is infectious most of all, I love your soft and caring heart that you don't, that you shield from most of the world. I promise to love and cherish and protect you with all of me for the rest of me. We have a love of a lifetime, and I promise you, Tracy, you will never find a love as true and loyal as mine. I truly believe God has a plan. That's why he saved me and sent me you and joined our families together. I cherish our life that we have built. As busy as it may always be, we always find time for you and me, Mabel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're my best friend, my partner, and now you're my wife. We'll be a team for the rest of life. I once had a beautiful woman tell me timing was everything, and now this is our time. I'm happy to tell you now what I wanted to tell you way back then. I'm in love with you, my best friend. Thank you, Tracy Hales Elliott, for making me a better man and spending the rest of my life with me. I love you. Not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Breaking the rules. <laughs> Okay, we're going back to the beginning. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's two hours. <laughs> Daryl, do you take Tracy 
to be your wife, to live and love together in the sight of God so long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. Tracy, do you take drugs? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tracy. Do you take do you take Daryl to be your husband to live in love in the sight of God so long as you both shall live if so answer I do the word of God tells us what love is like and what love does in 1 Corinthians 13 it says love is patient love is kind and is not jealous love does not brag and is not arrogant it does not take into account a wrong suffered it does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and it endures all things. Love never fails. The New Testament reveals that happiness comes from putting others first rather than oneself. God is love, yet his perfection requires a payment for our selfish acts. And because of his great love for us, he came, died on a cross so that we could have a relationship with him. He put us first. We need to put each other first. Um, having this kind of love in your hearts, you've chosen to exchange rings as a sign and seal of the vows you're making today. Uh, who has the rings? Okay, so though small in size, these rings are very large in significance. Made of precious metal, they remind us, love is not cheap nor common indeed. Love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. Must keep in, we must keep it continuous. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be a constant reminder of the glad promises you're making today. Daryl, will you take your ring and place it upon the third finger of Tracy's left hand and repeat after me this promise, saying, with this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband as God is my witness. Tracy, will you take your ring and place it upon the third finger of Daryl's left hand and repeat after me this promise saying, with this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife as God is my witness. Okay, they are going to now take communion, which is hidden. They're going to take communion together. Uh, communion is a symbol of receiving Christ into your very being, accepting that no religion can make us right with a perfect God. It takes the gift of Christ coming and dying on a cross. So by them taking communion, they're saying, we want you in our very center of our being. If we could all pray. Our Father, we come today asking your blessing upon these two lives and this home being established. You've made us so that we are incomplete without the others, so we yearn for someone with whom we can love and whose love we can receive. We're thankful for the love we see here and even more for the love we feel from you. May we never take your love for granted. We pray your love will be the shield and stay for Daryl and Tracy. When joy comes, may they share it together. When sorrow threatens, may they bear it together. In gladness or in tears, in sunshine or shadow, 
May they ever draw closer to each other and nearer to you. Grant them patience, gentleness, forgiveness, and understanding. O oh, Father, protect their home from those forces that would break it apart. We ask for health, for long life, for fulfillment of every good dream. May their love continue through life and finally blend into the life eternal. Through Christ we pray. Amen. You have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've shown your love and affection by joining hands, have made promises of faith and devotion each to the other, and have sealed these promises by giving and receiving a rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband. <laughs> May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. What God has joined together, let not men separate. In honor of um, the Jewish, uh, in, in honor of uh, some, the Jewish family, and also if you're a Christian, her Jewish roots, uh, they are going to break the wine glass. Daryl, you may kiss your bride. Dear friends, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Oh. Elliot.